Yo, Nicki Minaj just declared her full support for Cardi, dragging off set in the process. Look, Cardi's divorce is starting to be one of the wildest things that we've heard in a long while. We thought that it was wild of her to announce a pregnancy and divorce on the same day, but we never thought that Nicki Minaj would get involved in this mess. But it looks like she just did. Why all know how Nicki has her beef with Offset, separate from the one that she is going on with Cardi, right? Well, she is finally getting her lick back at Offset, clowning him for being a gold digger. And you won't believe the things she just revealed about Offset, because she just dragged him for a full fill. Okay, so by now everybody and their mama know that Offset has been riding Cardi's coattails for a hot minute, because he isn't bringing that Migos money as he used to. When he and Cardi first got together, he was a member of the Migos, which was arguably the biggest group in the world at the time. They were selling out shows and making a whole lot of money, but the Migos have since broken up, and things just aren't the same for Little Offset. After Takeoff passed away, he and Quavo just didn't like each other anymore, and at this point it's clear that the Migos are never going to come back. After the Migos split and Takeoff passed, Offset kind of faded into the background, Let's be real, nobody was really checking for him. But you know, Cardi's a ride-or-die chick she made sure he was still getting that bag. She basically demanded he get in on her McDonald's deal. And then, when the Baby Shark movie producers were only asking for her and their kids, she was like, nah, you gotta put my man in too. So yeah, Cardi was the one who put Offset on, and got him the bag after everything went down. But even with that, he wasn't exactly smart with his money. According to an insider, Cardi made most of the money for the family. She's all about saving and investing Offset is about spending wildly. So while they both made a lot of money during the marriage, most of the money they have now is Cardi's. And by most, I mean like 95%. And it's not just money that Cardi has, it's real estate. They own a home in Atlanta where Cardi and the children stay. And they have a home in New Jersey where Cardi's mother stays. She's getting both of those homes. Without Cardi's money, Offset is nowhere near as wealthy as he portrays. It's that man spends money like water, and he's not even hot like that anymore. Watch what his life ends up looking like without Cardi. So, not only is Offset a broke boy and living his fake life, but he is also severely in debt to the IRS, and you know that Uncle Sam does not play about his coin. A few months after Cardi left him, Offset was hit with a tax lien of $1.6 million. That was not the only one though, because he was also hit with another line of $32,988. And you want to guess who's enjoying all of this? Nicki Minaj, that's who. Nicki and Offset have never been cool, and while it all started because of her beef with Cardi, it soon blew up and got deeper than that, where he has his own separate beef. But things didn't really pop off until last year when Offset and Nicki's husband, Kenneth Petty, got into some messy drama. It was so wild that Kenneth ended up getting on house arrest because of it, and you already know Nikki does not play when it comes to her man. The drama started when a video in Barl's showing Kenneth and his friends posted up outside, straight up calling Offset out and threatening to jump him if they ever catch him outside. Ah, Offset, where you at? That's it. I just spin that shit. I'm like a zad, nigga. Yo, Kanye, nigga. No, it's shop, man. No, it's shop, yeah. We outside. Big Zoo outside, nigga. Big Queens, right? It even got worse when Kenneth threatened to murk Offset. Ah! Where you at? Fucking money, man. What's up? Yeah. Man? Yeah. yeah. Huh? You don't know Big niggas. Zoo. They said you don't know niggas. Big Zoo. You yeah. had vacation. Yeah. You were planning your funeral. Pulling something like this on any day is a hot mess, but doing it while you're on probation and at the big age you're at, that's just next level dumb. Folks wasted no time to drag him for being messy and poking at Cardi for no good reason. Of course Nikki got caught up in the chaos too. The heat was so intense that Kenneth had to spill some tea himself, dropping private messages between him and Offset where they had a little spat. Talk about airing out the dirty laundry. According to the texts, Offset DM Med Kenneth asking him to pull up, saying, where you located? You old men and females business with no money for war. Don't post me either since you a gangsta, right? You live in Charlotte too. Kenneth replied, I'm outside heavy, 
Ain't hiding from no man, especially no rap man. I'm outside, gangster. Shut the F up, man. You ain't even getting no get back for them guys killing your people Offset, then replied. You a grown man talking is about a woman, you're a pie. Offset also said, You guys too old and don't be outside. And also, you can think what you think, but you broke and ain't far from me catching. Already I'm not going to say s else to you online Kenneth replied, I ain't hiding, my man, get in line. Offset clapped back saying, get some money. All this broke shaming between two men that's living off their women. But anyways, Offset continued, goofiness. You men ain't standing on no business or no money. You broke I can tell, goofy man. And Kenneth then threw a punch below the belt when he brought up Takeoff's murder, saying, use that money to get them men that killed your partner, my G. That's gangsta turns out that Nikki was hella salty over Offset broke shaming her man. And it explains why she is mocking Offset now that he has been exposed for being broke and living a fake lifestyle. But anyways, Kenneth and his crew really decided to test Offset's gangsta and actually pulled up. Now we have no clue what sparked Offset to slide into Kenneth's DMs out of nowhere or why things were so heated. The word on the streets is that something went down at the VMAs that caused some stirring in the pot. Makes sense though, cause Offset coming for Kenneth was kind of random. But anyways, Kenneth's little video where he was out here threatening Offset to come outside blew up online. And guess what? It got him in a whole lot of trouble with the parole board. And then he got stuck at home for four months on house arrest. According to the legal documents, Kenneth was recording a video making threatening remarks towards a specific individual while in the company of someone with a criminal record. As such, the probation officer believes placement in the location monitoring program will effectively allow for closer monitoring, limit his movements, provide a sanction for his non-compliance, and hopefully encourage him to reflect upon and re-evaluate his current status in the community. Nothing like putting Kenneth on timeout. Well, the document went on to say, praying that the court will order Kenneth Petty shall participate for a period of up to 120 days in a home detention program which may include electronic monitoring GPS. So when Kenneth was out here bragging about being strapped, I bet he didn't think about him ending up with a monitor strapped to his ankle. Talk about overplaying your hand. He not only broke his parole, but the audacity to flex about it online for everyone else to see was just silly. Naturally, he got busted and then the whole internet dragged him. And that's when Miss Minaj stepped in, claiming that Offset had been making false claims to the police and CPS about her family, which led cops to roll up to her house with guns drawn just messy. She wrote, two times my home was surrounded by large guns. This person wanted a family with a two-year-old to be shot at, yet nothing on any blog. The same person made a false claim to CPS. When you have snitches in high places of the music industry, you don't want to win. But realize they can't stop you, because God's anointing in my life is very real. Funny how this person hasn't been found, mentioned, arrested Nada. She also wrote, can't call the cops every time you flop. Just saying. And a child who's done nothing to anyone but bring joy. You're going to get the brakes beaten off of you. Ain't reading the comments. Don't give a F about them, so knock yourself out. Show this to them, write it down, take a picture. Try to stop VMAs what I do. I stepped on them, best dressed according to Vogue, body smoking. So yeah, Nikki and Offset have had their own little feud brewing for a while, separate from her beef with Cardi of course. And honestly, it looks like she's got more smoke for him than she does for Cardi because it seems like she's been riding hard for Cardi B during this whole divorce drama. Not only did she publicly back Cardi, but she also went in on Offset, accusing him of leeching off her. After Cardi filed for divorce, Nikki showed her love on Twitter, saying, stop beating up on yourself, handle it gently. According to an insider, Nikki has allegedly been throwing shade at Offset and mocking his situation. Fans also caught some of that shade when she tweeted stuff like did dummies was it worth it. But at the time we really didn't know who it was about. And it looks like she is still salty about the situation that Offset did to her man. Again, Nikki is going to hold on to a beef for a long time, because she does not play about her man, her man, her man. But that's not all. Because the streets are saying that Offset is desperate to raise enough money to pay his debt and avoid embarrassment. He is determined to try to spin the narrative and make the headlines look like lies. But the thing is, 
people aren't willing to write him a check now that they know he isn't bringing in as much money as he claims. It's going to be interesting to watch how this all plays out over these next couple of weeks, but it's not looking good for Offset. Fans have been commenting, of course, and they've been saying stuff like, Offset used Cardi, married her, and now all their funds are attached to each other. Or Offset is the player for real. I really feel like Offset was staying with Cardi, because he's broke. I don't feel like he actually liked that girl and Offset ain't got no money for real without Cardi. Shaking my head. Karma gonna eat him up. But I gotta know what you feel about this. Do you really think that Nikki is out here clowning Offset like that? And do you really think that Cardi is going to divorce that man? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and then check out this next video.